The mid-80s saw the birth of gaming compilation packs across most of the 8-bit systems around at the time. These were a great way of building up your software library at a cheap and reasonable price, with most compilations coming with four or more games. The quality of the games may have left a little bit to be desired, but still most titles on these packs had been released before as full price software, so in the eyes of a 12 year old child they seemed like a bargain. Music album compilations had been around for a long time before this, decades in fact with multi-artist compilations being available prior to the 1970s. In November 1983 Virgin Records released the very first Now That's What I Call Music album, which has continued being released to this very day in various guises, with Now 113 coming out this Christmas. But did you know that in 1985 they also put their toe into the gaming market using the same Now tagline? The Now Game series was a 5 or 6 game compilation that was released on various 8 bit systems, including the ZX Spectrum and Commodore 64. The system we'll be looking at in this video is the C64 version. Costing £8.95, which is what the average cost of game compilations back then was in the 80s, Now Games 1, or just Now Games as it was called, consisted of the following six games. Lords of Midnight, a medieval strategy game which had been ported over from the ZX Spectrum. Brian Bloodaxe, a platform arcade affair. Strange Loop, an atmospheric arcade graphic adventure in the style of Finders Keepers. Pajata Marama, an arcade adventure released by Microgen. Arabian Nights, an arcade style game where you must avoid certain objects such as flying boulders, crocodiles and much more. And finally Falcon Patrol 2, a great little horizontal shoot 'em up The reviews for this Virgin compilation, get the pun there, were around the 67% mark, claiming that there was a bit of variety to keep you entertained, but the reviewers were not blown away with the quality on offer of the games. It must have held a certain charm with the public, as it stayed in the top 10 of the gaming charts for a fair few weeks after its initial release. It was obvious that after the fairly successful launch of the first Now Games, the second one would not be far behind, and sure enough, in 1985, only a few months later, we get Now Games 2, which included the following five games. Airwolf, the solid game based on the hit TV series by Elite, which where you, which where you control Airwolf in a multi-scrolling exploration game. Tur Nar Nog, a unique adventure where you walk around the map looking for items and completing the puzzles. Cauldron, the excellent spooky adventure game. Chucky Egg, well this game needs no introduction and is a classic on many systems. And finally, World Cup, a mediocre arcade football style game akin to Emlyn Hughes, probably the weakest game of the five by Arctic. Again, the compilation itself scored an impressive 80% in Zap64 magazine, and to be honest, the quality of the games do seem to have been upped in this release. Sadly though, when you get to the dizzy heights of good games, it can usually signal there is only one way to go from there, and it's not usually in the upwards direction. Now Games 3 was released in 1986, and had seen a price increase to £9.95. Again, the compilation had five games in it. Nick Faldo plays the Open, a dire golf simulation game that was one of the first on the C64, and it shows. Sorcery, a colourful arcade adventure by Virgin. Codename Matt 2, a 3D style space shooter. Everyone's a Wally, very similar to Pajama Rama, that had been part of Now Games, but with, a di with the different characters. And finally, A View to a Kill, a very poor James Bond film tie-in. Zap64 gave this compilation a very poor 46%, and it is plain to see why as it looks like a cobbled together compilation with very mediocre titles. The issue also at the time were the competition in the compilation market, which was beginning to hot up, and some great compilations being released, especially with arcade ports being included. Now Games 4 was released in 1987 at the price of £9.95 again. The five games included were Back to the Future, an adventure style game based on the hit film of the same name, Unfortunately, the game was not as successful as its counterpart film. Mission Omega, a fun little strategy game. Hacker, a strategy game based on you getting out of a hacked system you are locked in. Again, not a bad little game to play. Dan Dare, Pilot of the Future, another not bad title that splits across multiple platforms and screens, but has a comic style to it, very much like the much later Mega Drive game, Comic Zone. And finally, John Barrington Squash, not a bad attempt at porting the sport of squash over to the C64. 
All in all, there was plenty to keep you occupied in this compilation, even if it didn't contain big arcade name games, and it did receive a score of 70% for its troubles. Unlike its music brother though, which was fast becoming a powerhouse in the compilation music market, the Now Game series was facing a lot of stiff competition as we entered into 1988, from other big software studios including Ocean and Imagine, each bringing out their own excellent compilation game cassettes. Now Games 5 would be the last compilation released on the 8-bit system under the Now label, and judging by the quality of the games compared to its rivals out at the time, it was justified. Again, it came out at a price tag of £9.95 in 1988. The six games included in the pack were International Karate, the excellent arcade one-on-one style fighting game, Hacker 2 Doomsday Papers, the brilliant sequel to Hacker, building on its roots and gameplay and providing more challenges to overcome, Prohibition, a mediocre crosshair shooter, much in the style of Operation Wolf, but not as much fun. Rebel, again a rather poorly executed multi-scrolling tank shooter mump with limited playability. Cat Trap, yet another middle-of-the-road arcade-style scrolling game, which could have been a lot better, but did keep you entertained for a short period. And finally, Street Hassle, and for me one of the gems of the pack. Street Hassle, a comedic side-scrolling arcade beat em up with a difference. If you are easily offended, I recommend you don't play this game today. All in all, a fairly dismal attempt for a compilation with only two or three out of the six games worth playing over and over again. These being Street Hassle, International Karate and maybe Hacker 2. No more Now Game compilations would ever be released and it would disappear into the annals of compilation history. It was a brave attempt at the time to capitalise on the success of the Now brand and kudos must go to Virgin for trying it. But ultimately, like the music compilations which in the early years would have a couple of big hitters on and the remainder of the album filled with more mediocre music, this strategy did not work well in the gaming space, especially as more bigger, better compilations came along vying for the kids' pocket money. Do you agree with this video? If not, comment below. I do like a good discussion. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this slice of retro history, then please hit the subscribe button and select the bell notification icon as I do live streams most weeks and do love the interaction and memory sharing with other like-minded folk.